Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So sorry I'm posting a video today because I got caught up with something that has been irritating me for about a week, week and a half. Extremely annoying. So you can see I have another tab here and I'll show you that in a second. But there's a setting. This is the setting that toggles if you can use your client mods on a server. And so the what I was showing you to go to single player and back to multiplayer, that's actually a bug because this is disabled by default and therefore it disables all client modding when you go on servers. So instead of having a giant how to enable client mods list and having to go into the files to manually enable, I made this menu. This menu is very simple. So this is how it'll look by default. Okay. So even if you tick this button to go to the crafter client, I'm just using my game as an example. So you can see I can go in here, but I can't run. My character will change states because that's how I uh, set it in the new player, whatever it's called, player API files. Um, but you can see probably here I'm double tapping. No running. Uh, it's actually snowing or raining out right now. I can't see weather. So let's just go back to the main menu and uh, we'll enable client modding. And just go back in. That works great. Then we can just disable the client mod. There we go. And see, it's no longer functioning it doesn't load and this is absolutely fantastic I don't have to show people how to install client mods anymore nobody has to on the forum show people how to install client mods anymore because it's right in the main menu and this is a no fluff no preview whatever it is a simple checklist and if your checklist goes down you can scroll down it and if you want to turn client modding off on servers, all you have to do is go back to the main menu and click that button. And then you can go back in and it doesn't load. So it's very, very useful. So this could be used if you get a server error that tells you you can't use client mods. And you can see I can run now, my FOV changes, I can see the rain. That's yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. I am absolutely gonna keep this in my game even if this doesn't get merged. I'll uh have a link to the PR in the description. You can take that code and put it into your game, and it makes life so much easier. Uh so now I can actually mess around with other people's client mods and see how they work without having to go through the um, the configuration file because even at the main menu if we go to client mods and let me go to here I have a test mod which has nothing in it so you're ready so it's still there and now it's not so if I go back and I undo that it will be there again and let me see if I can show you guys this here's the mods configuration file I got too much stuff open okay it lost by it was dynamically updating earlier but sometimes Visual Studio Code doesn't dynamically update so we'll just kinda do that can see it is happening dynamically and this is a manual overwrite because if you want to delete a file like that it'll remove it automatically and you can just drop some a bunch of client mods in and you'll just check them all 
and they'll all have settings in the mods.configuration file. And again, you can just disable and enable to your heart's content, and it looks like it should just be part of the main menu because it should be part of the main menu. And um, Lone Wolf, sorry, I, I, am, I have just processed so much data, I can't even think anymore. But Lone Wolf suggests that I put it in here, but I'm like, if it's unsupported, I guarantee that the core developers are not going to support that because having CSM be able to dynamically download, um, people go through the online repository thing and just click a whole bunch of stuff and somebody could sneak in something. So with this, you have to manually add it in still, the file into the folder, or the, the folder into the folder, but now you don't have to go through all those menus and that configuration file and all that other stuff. So feel free to download the code and put it into your game because it I could already tell you this much, it made my life so much easier. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you guys like this. I'll see you in the next video. And peace out.